Today's video from samforesthelp.co.uk we're taking a look at programming discount buttons on the NR510R register. Uh, so as standard on the machine you have a percent one button here which is a open percentage discount that gives a discount off an individual item. So for example if you rang £10 through your PLU button number one you could then assign a 5% discount by pressing 5 and then the percentage one button um, and it would discount that line of the transaction by 5%. What it cannot do as standard is give a discount off a total transaction. So if you had a £9.50 sale and wanted to give a 20% discount, the button is a program that way. Um, so in this video we're going to take a look at how you can edit the settings of the button. We're going to give it a name, we're going to preset it, but we're also going to show you some of the other functions. Okay, so we can cancel that transaction. All you really need in order to do this is the P, uh, P metal P key and you need to turn it round to the PGM position and then arrow down to function key, press cash amount 10 to enter the settings and then press it again to go into function key and then you can simply press the percent one button now and it'll bring up all the setting information for this button. So the first thing you can edit is the description. So a standard on your till receipts, it simply says percent one. So we can give that a name. It's really easy to do. When the arrow is against the description, you press cash amount tend to enter, and then you can type in your discount information or discount description using the buttons on the keyboard. Once you've typed in your description, you press cash to save, and then we can now look at some of the other settings. So the arrow down button here, check, takes you to amount or percentage. So you can have the button set to be an amount rather than a percentage, so a straight value, a straight numeric value. You then have a setting for the uh, presetting the discount button amount. So we're going to keep ours as a percentage rate, which is why we've got N selected on line two but we're going to preset our discount to be 20%. So to do that, you press cash tend and then type in the amount here. So there we go, 20%. That's saved. There's the option to disable the button. So if you don't want discounts given at all, you can simply make the button inactive. You can make it under manager control. So it only works with the manager key or a manager signed in. You can have it set as default, it's set to yes for open. We're going to change ours to preset. So again, cash 10 to go into the setting and then arrow down to get N for no. And we've now changed it to be a preset. A crucial setting is line seven. So a standard, the button is programmed to only allow discounts of individual PLUs, whereas I want mine to be set to give off the total sale. So we go in, change that to yes, and then it's saved. You can have various settings, so you can make it overridable. Um, you can also apply tax to it. So for example, if all your PLUs are taxable by rate tax rate one, you would then set the um, discount button, providing that you've got the tax settings set up on the machine. I have a whole video explaining, or a whole video playlist explaining about the way tax is used on the NR500. So if you're unsure about whether to do that or not you can check those videos out okay there's plenty of settings but i've changed all the major ones that i want to so i'll just summarize what i've done i've set it to tax rate one i've set it to be yes for sale because i want it off the total transaction rather than an individual line i've set it to 20 percent i've set it to be a percentage and i've given it a description what I'll also do is I'll, I'll post another video that will, there'll be a link to at the end of this one, which will show you how to add additional discount buttons. So if you feel like um, you want to give discounts in more than one way, so you want a value discount or you want an open percentage discount or you want one that only works off an item, I'll show you how to set up additional buttons to watch on the standard programming. Um, once you're happy with your settings for this button that you're editing, press clear, clear again, and clear again until you come back to the main program menu. You can now turn the key back around to the register position. Now when we process our transaction, if we try and use the discount on an individual item, we get an error message because we've set it to work on the total transaction. So we can enter multiple lines 
and then discount them all by pressing subtotal and then applying a discount. So we get our percentage discount taken off. Obviously the only danger of doing that is if you've entered lines that you don't discount, then they, you'll have to enter them now after you've applied the discount. So that's why you might want multiple discount buttons. So we can finish our sale, subtotal in the normal way, charge payment, and then I'll just show you how it appears on the till receipt. So you have discount, what discount showing um, and it shows the percentage and then also the actual amount of the discount. Um, so I hope that video has been helpful. We've got a couple of other videos which are related to this one. So there'll be one showing you how to edit the discount description um, so that on the end of day report it'll always appear as percentage one. But it's possible to change that to match the description you've put on the button as it appears on the till receipt. And then I'll have another video showing you how to add additional discount buttons if you find one too limiting. Okay. Please check those videos out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforyourself.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.